sure can. You do can, I think. <laughs> yes, Slim, you sure can. Interesting facts about famous people. Sidekicks of the old Western movie stars. From time to time, I make a new video on the sidekicks or character actors that supported the lead actors in the classic westerns we all love. This list of cowboy sidekicks has some of the most beloved and fondly remembered friends of the golden era of Wild West movies. If you enjoy this video, hit the notification button to get my new videos. If you want to check out my many many other videos, head over to my channel. The link is in the description. Please take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel as well. I appreciate it. Let's get started. George Gabby Hayes. Hayes was born 1885 and died February 1969. Most famous of all the sidekicks of the western stars of B-movies of the 20s through the 50s, along with Smiley Burnett, made the top 10 of western stars several times despite not being the featured actor in their films. Two things Gabby said in every film were, you young whippersnapper, and you're darn tootin'. Hayes did not get into movies until age 44, with his nasal voice and grey beard was very recognisable. Contrary to his image, Gabby was well-read, well-groomed, and serious investor. George started out as Windy, a sidekick to Hopalong Cassidy, then changed to Gabby after leaving Hoppy. He went on to be a sidekick to Wild Bill Elliott, Hoot Gibson, Roy Rogers, Randolph Scott and John Wayne. Andy Devine, born 1905 and died February 18, 1977. A childhood injury to his vocal cords gave him a raspy voice which became his trademark. Was in over 400 films and played Cookie, Roy Rogers' sidekick. He became more famous as Jingles, the sidekick to Guy Madison on television, moving on from B-movies to A-movies, appearing with the likes of John Wayne and Jimmy Stewart, who both attended his funeral. An hour ago? No, I ain't hungry. I just want to prove to folks I ain't got locked on. Now, come on. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, what do you make of that? I don't see anything. It's like a man. He's been wounded. Come on. Oh, huh? I wasn't within five miles of there. Are you going to let them get away with this, Bill? I'm afraid I'll have to for the time being, Sandy. Whoever it was up in those hills, that'll do. Pat Brady. Brady made over 70 films and was a member of The Sons of the Pioneers that appeared in many Roy Rogers films. He also played a sidekick to Roy on television for years to come. Born December 31, 1914 and died on February 27, 1972. Pat's Jeep was named Nellie Bell. Oh, you had some. You bet I did, Pat. And writers, you ask Mom to keep a big supply of Post Toasties always on hand. In the morning? Boy, where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. It's time for your breakfast tang. Thanks a lot, Pat, but where's the water? Water. Water. You need water. Now you tell me. Look, Pat. Slim Pickens. Slim was born June 29, 1919 and died on December 8, 1983. Slim got his start in rodeo, where he rode broncos and was a rodeo clown, and found his name. A sidekick to Rex Allen before moving on to A movies like Dr. Strangelove or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb in 1964, which leaves an iconic image of Slim riding an atomic bomb dropped from his plane headed for Soviet Russia. John Wayne. Wayne was born May 26, 1907. Died on June 11, 1979. We all know about the Duke. We all know about his career in westerns. However, most of you probably do not know that he started playing in B-films and was a sidekick named Duke to Tim McCoy. The rest is history. Find any silver? Oh, no, I... I didn't find any silver. What happened? Uh, now, no more. 
Al Fuzzy St. John. Fuzzy born September 10, 1893 and died on January 21, 1963. Fuzzy made over 350 films, was a sidekick to Lash LaRue, Buster Crab, Tom Mix and Bob Steele. Fuzzy Knight was the actual sidekick that the producers of a film were after. However, Al was brought in to fill in and given the name Fuzzy, which stuck. Eddie Nugget Clark Waller. Waller was born June 14, 1889, and died August 20, 1977. Nugget made over 260 films and played the sidekick to Rocky Lane and Tim Holt. Nugget was the only attendee at Rocky Lane's funeral. Cliff Ukulele Ike Edwards. Edwards was born June 14, 1895 and died July 17, 1971. A singing cowboy, Cliff was the first to perform Singing in the Rain in a 1929 film. He got his name from a club owner while making a living singing in saloons prior to his film career. Ike made over 95 films and played the sidekick to Tim Holt. He died broke. Disney Studios paid for his funeral. Pat Buttram. Buttram was born June 19, 1915 and died January 8, 1994. He was a radio comic whom Gene Autry took a liking to and replaced Smiley Burnett with Pat. They remained friends until Pat's death. Pat performed in 72 films and television shows. He had a distinctive squeaky voice, also remembered for his role on Green Acres. Smiley Burnett. Burnett was born March 18, 1911, and died February 16, 1967. He would make over 165 films and television appearances, 80 with Gene Autry, also a sidekick for Sunset Carson and the Durango Kid. Smiley and Gene made their film debut together in 1934 in Old Santa Fe. He was actually known as Gene's sidekick, Frog Millhouse, for the frog-like sounds he made along with Gabby Hayes, was frequently in the top 10 of Western stars, even though they were in supporting roles. Fuzzy Knight. Knight was born May 9, 1901. Died on February 23, 1976. He made over 200 films, known for being a sidekick to both Tex Ritter and Johnny Mac Brown. He also had his own band and appeared on Buster Crab's TV series as his sidekick. Performed in some major films such as She Done Him Wrong and My Little Chickadees with Mae West and Johnny Apollo with Tyrone Power. Slim Andrews. Andrews was born December 8, 1906, died on April 3, 1992. Slim made few films and was a sidekick to Tex Ritter during the 40s. J. Tonto Silverheels. Silverheels was born Harold J. Smith on May 26, 1912 died on March 5, 1980. He made over 100 films, including some films like Key Largo with Humphrey Bogart. However, he will always be identified as the Lone Ranger's sidekick, Tonto. He was the son of a Mohawk chief and was a decent lacrosse player and boxer before getting into films. Buddy Ebsen, 
Born April 2, 1908. Died July 6, 2003. Buddy began as a dancer. He was famous in a movie role, Dancing with Shirley Temple. He would appear in many major films and had a famous television series, The Beverly Hillbillies. His early days found him in B-Westerns as sidekick to Rex Allen. Rex Allen! Thank you, Mr. Benton. Tonight bad, and he makes one more jump and he's headed up high. Leaves me a setting on nothing in the sky. I turned over twice, then I came back to earth. And it starts into hating the day of his birth. Andy Clyde. Clyde was born on March 25, 1892. Died on May 18, 1967, after 40 years in films. He was first a sidekick to Whip Wilson, but known best for being the longtime sidekick to Hopalong Cassidy as California Carlson. Andy worked until his death at age 75, always as the scruffy, bearded old cowboy. In reality, he was always clean shaven and well dressed. If you like this video, make sure you hit the notification button so you will see all my new videos as they come up. Take a look at my channel to see my many other videos. The link is in the description. Check out my Facebook page as well. I appreciate likes and subscribers. I am Wrangler. Bye for now. See you again soon. Interesting facts about famous people.